to our summer sunscreen survival guide. With so many of us spending more time outside, it's so important to protect your skin. And this morning, board-certified dermatologist Dr. Janine Downey is here to bust the biggest myths about sunscreen. Every dermatologist I talk to say, sunscreen is the most important thing. Happy 4th of July, the three of you. Thank you for having me. It is the most important thing. Thank you the so most. much for being here. So we're going to play this game called Sun or Shade. Yay. I'm going to read a statement about sunscreen and using these paddles over here, my fellow anchors mm -hmm. will hold up sun if it's true or it's shade. It's going to be all shade. A lot of shade <laughs> comes from this side. If it's <laughs> All shade over here. Are you guys ready? <laughs> yes. yes. Okay. So here's the first question. The higher the SPF, the better the sun production. Okay, so that is just not true. Yeah, I absolutely not. I'm going true. shade. Yeah, absolutely not totally. true. Shade, 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 shade. Um, and the reason why is because an SPF of 30 gives you about 97% protection from the sun's rays. After that, all of the sunscreens pretty much level off. So even an SPF of 70 or above really is not doing that much. That's according to the Skin Cancer Foundation. So what you want to look for first is you want to look for a higher sunblock, SPF of 30 or more, and then put it on every two hours if you're here in New Jersey. If you're down in Miami, closer to the equator, then perhaps it's every hour. Then next you want to look and make sure it's UVA and UVB. It's both because a lot of them are not both, okay? And then finally, you want to make sure it's water resistant. That is an S like SPF that will last at least 40 minutes in the water. You know, that type of thing. But I tell people, if you're getting out of the pool, if you're getting out of the salt water, put it back on right away. If you just played a tennis match, put it back on right away. Finally, if you're not sure what you're doing, then go to the Skin Cancer Foundation recommendate, recommended sunscreens because they know what they're doing and they've done the legwork for you. Easy peasy. Yep. Yep, yep, yep. Okay, so the next question. Ready, guys? We're ready. Spray sunscreen is less effective than lotion. Go in sun. <laughs> it's true, right? A little bit of sun and a little bit of shade. Okay. So okay. Let me just do a little demo here. So a lot of people don't understand. You want to pump a little sunscreen into your hand and then warm it up in your hands. And that way when you put it on, see, even though it's whitish, it dissolves right into my brown arms. Mm -hmm. So that's really important because people don't like the sunblock to lay on them because then it makes you look purplish and that looks awkward and kind of alien-like, not what you want. <laughs> so I tell everybody, put the sunblock on after it's warmed up all over your face, all over your neck, all over your ears. But if you're going to use a sunblock spray, that's fine. Just be methodical and apply it in a grid-like like fashion so you don't don't miss anywhere. And miss spots are the back of your neck and the tops of your feet and the backs of your knees in most cases. Good to know. Good to know. So you can thorough. do both. You can yeah. do both. I do both. Okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. All I the sunscreen. Both. Okay, mm -hmm. next up. All clothing will protect from skin and sun damage. Guys? Shady. They are throwing Shady some shade. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So this is a little sun and a little shade. So denim jeans give you an SPF of like 10. A white thin t-shirt gives you an SPF of three. So those are both photoprotective, but they're not gonna be as photoprotective, Eva, as like a UPF. So that's universal protection factor. So you wanna look for like the big, broad, floppy hats that have UPF in them. You wanna look for sun shirts, like the one that's on the screen right now, that's my daughter's. That's a UPF of 50 in there. That's what you really wanna look for. Universal protection factor <laughs> is what UPF stands for. Yes, so, so if I wear my jeans out in the sun, I only have SPF 10 protection? Yes, and if you're sweaty, it goes down to a 7 or a 5. Wow. <laughs> oh my gosh, you so can okay. wear the sunblock under your jeans. You catch me at the beach with the jeans on. <laughs> and even, and even, cor and even corduroys. Because exactly, I got a lot of corduroy these days. <laughs> Especially at the beach. I feel like we learned a lot we this did, morning. Yeah. Dr. Daddy, thank you so much you're for being very, with very us. very, very welcome. Thank you for having me. You guys have a great day. Happy 4th, Happy 4th to you as well.